Gabby, to be a freshman and to be in the circle on the final out of a state championship game, I mean, this is just like Cinderella stuff, right? I mean, what's this moment like for you guys? Uh, I, don't, I really don't know how to describe it. Um, it was just, I knew, take it one pitch at a time. And yeah, I felt a little pressure, but I just calmed myself down. And how has this program gotten to this point? I know you've only been in it for a year, but uh, you know, Sarah, Coach Sarah has done an amazing job with it year in. It seems to keep getting better and better. And just wondering what you've seen from your vantage point in it. Uh, she just tells us to do the little things. like, uh, And I think we've done that all season, and I think that's kind of helped us get to where we are. Getting into the seventh, you got a 6-1 lead when you come out to try to close it. How much did that buffer kind of give you a little bit of calm? Yeah, it really helps me because I'm not having to worry about doing too much and I'm just able to let the defense work. And it's like, it takes a lot of the pressure off of me. What was it like last night for the team knowing that you had to be beaten twice today to, to win a state championship? I think, I don't think we got over overconfident. I think we just stuck to what we knew and uh, said, let's go win it. Did y'all do anything fun to relax, anything like that? No, we just got pizza ordered to the hotel for dinner and went to bed and woke up this morning on a <laughs> what was the What was the message for the team after game one? I know there were some missed opportunities there. I know y'all wanted to go ahead and close it out in game one, but sometimes you can kind of lose, maybe get nervous and, and lose that second game. What was the message going into the uh, second She's one? told us, Coach Bailey has told us, ever since we um, – went from Alcoa to Murfreesboro. She said, have fun and compete. And I think we've done that every game. How long have you been playing softball and have you always kind of been a pitcher or? Um, I started uh, when I was about four and I started pitching about nine. What, how did you find your way into the circle? Is it something you'd always wanted to do or? So like, do you remember how, how that all started? Like just kind of what you? Uh, I just, in my mind I was like, that sounds kind of fun, and told my parents, and they uh, got me a pitching lesson, and that's kind of how it started. Yeah. Um, now, kind of looking back on the season, was there anything obstacle-wise that you guys really felt like you had to overcome to get to this point? There were a lot of injuries. Uh, we've had, like, I think three people get injured, key players, too, and we've just kind of had to overcome that.